All right, hello all, welcome back. Uh, this is gonna be a talk through. Talk through, kind of like, instead of me putting all this stuff on, I'm just gonna hold it up, kind of tell you why we think it's cool, why we chose it, some highlights, fit details, etc., etc. Um, for this episode, we've got Frism Works. If you're not already familiar, it's a newer brand to the shop out of South Korea with uh, devilishly good pricing and uh, qual frankly, quality too. Um, so it's for all of the kind of like EG heads, military repro, if you love Orslo, you know, it's kind of all within that sphere. Um, I obviously really love it. So yeah, uh, let's just hop right into it. Uh, I've got my rack beside me here. I'm just gonna kind of pull some favorites and talk about why I think they're sick. Starting out, we've got three colors of the ringer tee. I'm just gonna highlight one of each product. Um, but yeah, so one of the things I always notice about ringer tees in particular, and you know, from Capital or other brands of the like, uh, they usually run like small. One of the things I wanna note right off the bat is all Frismworks tops are running like pretty roomy, especially in this summer delivery. So these tees are gonna be super nice and roomy. I do XLs because I'm, I'm gonna wash and dry all my product anyway, but it does a lot, like plenty of room, lots of drape. So if you do get a little bit of shrinkage, you're not gonna notice it all that much. Um, but it's dope. The fabric feels nice and sturdy. It's, uh, it's got a little bit of give to it, so it's not as, say, like starchy as some other t-shirts we might have. Um, but yeah, I'd like to highlight the fit. And then we've got these cool gussets here in the bottom. Kind of like builds it out to be uh, less, less of an undershirt and more of just like, you know, a straight up shirt that you, would, you could wear on its own. Um, you know, just again, be, based on the fit and the details with the, the ring collar and all that. Also, we got this little thing here to hang if you wanna hang dry your garments. Ringer tees, dope. Lots of length, lots of room up top. Moving on, we've got these terry striped polos. So it's, it's like a terry cloth. Same situation. I would say this might even fit slightly more generous than the ringer tees. You're gonna get it to drape off the shoulders nicely. And yeah, it's dope. Three buttons up top. Plenty of room. I, I'm holding the XL here uh, because I pulled everything that I, I would get in my own sizes. So this is the XL here. You can kind of see how it would, you know, definitely fill out, fill out the frame. But it's dope. Nice and lightweight. This would make for a nice summer piece. I would layer this probably with, uh, you know, a, a lightweight, loose fitting short, probably a Birkenstock. You know, you never know. Whatever you've got in your closet, but dope. PK. Uh, terry cloth polo. Moving on, I'm gonna hold up all three of these so you can see these beautiful colors. So this is the double rib tee. Um, again, kind of following off of the ringer tee. Very roomy, very, uh, um, you know, generous in terms of volume for the body. But the fit does seem slightly different. The, the sleeves cut seem to be cut slightly more I guess relaxed, so they're gonna maybe not follow the shape of your arm so much in this joint region. Just gonna kinda kinda pull around the top of the arms, uh, create a nice, cool, roomy silhouette. This would be sick with like a baggy ass pair of pants. But again, we've got the gusset here on the bottom. Very substantial, very substantial. Uh, the fabric has a nice give to it, but it's not, it's not terribly heavy either. Um, as I'm holding it up to the light, there is, uh, you know, it's thin enough that it ain't. It ain't like a thick piece of canvas, some teaser that way. But um, it also has this like kind of like double ribbed collar up top where it's kind of the traditional collar where, uh, you know, imagine any t-shirt you've got. But then we've also got a situation, if you're familiar with lady white tees, where it's more of a smaller, tightly woven uh, seam around the collar itself. Yeah, I actually want to toss this on when we're done with this video because I think these are going to be really dope. Um, pick up a couple of these, work them into the rotation. Would look cool layered under stuff, obviously, because you got that length to poke out and the gussets, but you can absolutely just wear this on its own without it feeling like you're wearing like an undershirt or something. All right, moving on. We've got the nylon cotton half string shirt. I'm gonna highlight the black, just cause I think the, sh the, the fabric has like a cool shine in black. I think black is one of the harder colors to wear in a button up shirt, it's actually definitely in a short sleeve. I don't know why that is, I haven't really worked it out in my head yet, but it feels like it's a harder color to wear, it's just gonna be more, uh, you know, a, st a more stark contrast unless you're wearing things that are more in the gray 
dark green situation, which is probably how I would style this anyway, but um, very lightweight. Kind of feels like if you, if you have Patagonia baggies or something, you could get this thing wet and it would dry right away. Um, absolutely a summer staple if you're uh, out and about and you want something, um, you know, let's say you're going to the water park, you're taking the kids to the water park, you're, your niece and nephew to the water park, or you're going yourself. This would be a great piece to go to the water park in. Has this cool uh, cinch along the side here, so you can kind of adjust the, how, how the waist would sit, the silhouette of the waist. If you wanted it to kind of pull around the waist, you could cinch this pull tab here, and it would kind of sit at the hips, similar to like a polo or something of that sort. But yeah, again, super lightweight, per everything else, as I said, nice and roomy and boxy up top. Got this neat inset pocket here on the front left. So it definitely adds a little bit of interest, changes the silhouette, you know, just enough that you can tell uh, you got a different situation going on here. But awesome, would look cool with the, you know, no shirt underneath and just rocking this on like a 95 degree day. Um, again, I'm probably gonna toss this on right after the video. Moving on, we've got, real fast, this is the rest of the colors in that. Figure we show some love. Moving on, we've got these bad numbers. Let's check, let me mix up the color. We've got the envelope pullover half shirt in these three different sort of plaid situations. I wanted to highlight this one. We've got a pretty pink kind of mixed in with, I mean, I suppose this could be a gray, maybe even leaning brown olive. It's honestly kind of hard to tell what the colors are, I'm not gonna lie to you, but love it. We've got the one pocket up front that has, uh, you know, a flap and then quite roomy. And then the other one is similar to the last button up shirt we had, where it's just, you know, kind of just a pocket you just reach in. But again, as you can tell, roomy, boxy. I did try this on yesterday. Um, it's gonna fit similar to say, like an EG camp shirt if you're familiar. Uh, maybe actually a little boxier and a little more voluminous in the, uh, the body itself. So. This one's dope. Uh, you can also adjust the waist hem with these ties here for same situation. If you wanted to tie them, they would sit probably along the hips and kind of billow out throughout the body, changing proportions depending on the, you know, the size of the shorts or the pants you're wearing. But also, I just like, I like the strings. I like to kind of let the strings hang out of pants and shirts and such. Um, just adds interest. I think it just, you know, kind of, having a string poke out, kind of plays with the silhouette, will change the shape of everything you're wearing. But one more look at this bad Larry, love it, love it. Moving on, these are dope. I'm gonna show all colors here and then I will highlight one of them. But it's a full button knit material, cardigan, polo, all in one kind of situation. Let's highlight this yellow one. So we've got the silhouette of a polo, uh, Kind of could play it like a cardigan because it buttons all the way down the front. Um, and then it's, it's, it's like a knit sweater material and it's very soft, I would say, right out of the gate. The first thing I notice is it's super lightweight and super soft. Um, definitely, uh, w when I think of knit, I think of you know something that's gonna hold a little more warmth, but um, will be awesome for summertime. I would style this with like a white t-shirt underneath, obviously, uh, and any, any sort of like pants or short situation, but really, really nice. Got this nice kind of like wide collar that kind of like spreads when it's fully buttoned. And then as you can see, the shoulder will absolutely fall. Uh, you know, it'll be kind of like a relaxed shoulder kind of falling off the top of your shoulder. Um, the ribbing is, there definitely is, is ribbing here along, you know, in terms of like a polo or something like that. So, but it's not super tight. So I don't, I don't anticipate it sort of like grabbing your arm and billowing the way some might. Um, more than anything, just kind of keeping the shape of the arm as it falls down the shoulder. But sick, this color is called lemon, and then there's actually a different texture here at the bottom. So we go from the standard knit to kind of like a wide band here, and then the standard ribbing at the bottom. Sick, moving on, got these guys, let's do this pink color. Paper cotton trucker half shirt, I believe is what they call this one. But I think really what they're getting at here is if you look closely, it's kind of, in the realm of a type two. It, it might be hard to see in the video, but definitely peep the product shots. We have this pleating here that you would find in the type two jacket, and then obviously the two pockets. So they're literally taking the shape of a type two jacket, translating it to a nice roomy short sleeve button up shirt. And I think it's kind of genius. 
Type 2 is my favorite kind of jacket. Um, noticing that pleat detail in real time definitely makes this kind of an instant cop for me. Even this, uh, these adjusted, these adjust, uh, adjustable side tabs, if you will. It's just sick. Again, I would play this no shirt underneath and just let it be what it is. You know, it's a lightweight fabric, uh, clearly for hot, hot summer days, but really dope. Prism works. You guys did a good job with this. This might be the standout piece for me in terms of all these short sleeve button ups we've gone on. This would be number one for me. Also just want to show this dope blue color. This ash blue is kind of uh, appearing in the collection throughout. And we had some in the spring, summer, not just the summer collection. Um, so if you got those IPFU pants, you can get this and match the whole kit. Do the whole one up top, one down low. And then we did do restocks of some of the OG pigment dye hoodies. We got new hoodies as well. Uh, and these are just the OG heavyweight pullovers. Um, probably a pretty similar cut. Admittedly, I haven't thrown this on, but roomy, very roomy. Uh, this is the XL, which I like when an XL is like a proper big ass size. You know what I mean? Like I don't want it to, I don't want an XL to fit like a, a US large or something. It's nice that even though we only do medium large XL because that's all it's offered, the XL does fit like a true XL and it's quite accommodating. So everybody can play. But we got this in a gray an oatmeal, and then a taupe as well. Uh, I believe the taupe, yeah. But nice. This would be nice as a straight up hoodie on its own. Um, it might have a little too much room to work under things, but don't take my word on it. You'd have to be wearing like a pretty roomy coat just because of how much you can see the sleeve drops. Might get a little weird with the fabric in. So this is kind of like a perfect top layer or underneath like a big massive coat that is not restricting in any way. This is, as I mentioned, one of the restocks of the OG pigment dyes. This time we got the green as well. Um, a thing that I'd like to highlight on these and on the one that I was just holding is, it's really cool how they've kind of mixed like a standard shoulder seam here, obviously very much so dropped, but then if you whip it around the back side, the back half of the pattern is actually cut raglan. So it's kind of cool, um, you know, if you, if you notice those kind of details, I was actually really surprised the first time I saw it. I just think little stuff like that goes a long ways, especially for people in our community. Y'all seem to really be into the details. Obviously, if you're shopping with us, you, uh, you care and take some sort of intention in how you dress and present yourself to the world. But yeah, half raglan, half regular. It's just kind of sick. Um, these colors will wash out beautifully. They are pigment dyed. So the uneven nature and, you know, sort of the wearing around the seams and all that, that's super intentional and will only become more pronounced as you wear the garment. Snag one up if you haven't already. Fall will be back before you know it. All right, the OG Oxfords. Restocked all the colors and we got this gray one. Super nice. I actually like this. The stitching here is white, so it's slightly contrast, but not in a jarring way, just like in a way that it kind of highlights the details. You see the stitching. Uh, and the craftsmanship, all this is really solid. These are nice as well. Um, still fairly oversized without being massive, but uh, at this low, low price point, everyone can play. Get one of these, toss it on, put it underneath the cool jacket you got from us. Starting off with the new pants, nylon ripstop parachute pants. So right off the bat, they're cut similarly to the IPFUs, in my opinion, and actually they're really close to the military ripstop ones we had from our first uh, Frism Works delivery. Probably my favorite pant I've got from the delivery. Um, but yeah, all a super lightweight ripstop, which is nice because sometimes that ripstop right off the bat can be kind of starchy, can be kind of crunchy, hard to break in, has a weird shine to it in some situations. I don't notice that in any of these. Good pockets here on the back, as well as slash pockets on the front. And then we've got this sort of darting situation on the knee, um, kind of like accentuating the curve of the, of the knee, and then also creating just a cool silhouette, the way the fabric kind of pools around the knee and, and, uh, and, and drapes in general. But got these adjustable ties in the waist. So if you're unsure, size up, that's always gonna be the cool move. And yeah, I mean, these are absolutely a summer piece. I'd actually, I'd go as far to say like, if you're gonna get these and you live in like a cold climate in the winter, put on a pair of long johns, you know what I mean? But beautiful. Uh, I really like the beige here. And we also did a, there's a, like a sage green sort of, so peep those, but love it. Probably will pick up a pair of these as well. Regular fit fatigue pants, this color goes. 
Definitely one of the coolest dyes that I've seen from Prismworks. It's like, if you could see in the sun, it's in the realm of the teal. I would say it leans more blue than it leans green, but there's certainly some green in there. Regular fit though. So we had the wide fit fatigues. Uh, loved those, got those in, I believe, uh, green, not olive. These are gonna be awesome as well. Again, when in doubt, size up. Uh, the size large is usually gonna fit around like a 32, 33, um, but they also have belt loops so you can toss a belt on them. Won't be an issue, but you know, everything you're looking from a, for from a standard fit ain't gonna be slim, but it ain't gonna be too big either. Got this uh, fatigue pockets in the front and the back. Um, and then, you know, uh, not a terribly long inseam, but it's gonna fill out. It'll fill out if you're uh, taller than me. I, I'm, not, I'm not super tall, but you'll still be able to fill these out. Um, and then I wear my stuff kind of lower as well. I like the silhouette, but love these. Regular fit fatigues, definitely snag these up. This is gonna be one of those ones where uh, you don't gotta think about it. Can just easily work it into your wardrobe. Not too jarring in any regards and will kind of work with everything you wear. I would anticipate. We also got these pants in this beautiful green and beige. I'd like to note tonal stitching for the most part. Um, yeah, it's a nice fitting pair of pants. On to the next new pant we got. I believe these are the OG wide cotton pants. That's exactly what they are. This is oatmeal. So, uh, you know, it's a nice ecru color heading into summer, heading, uh, leaving spring. Just a crew color, just a, a regular pair of pants. You know what I mean? It's gonna be all about the silhouette here. Again, it's gonna fill out in length. You got plenty of room through the thighs, through the knee, all the way down. Ain't gonna have a crazy taper or anything. You know, again, kind of echoing the, the sentiment of the last pair of pants. It's not gonna be the statement piece in your outfit. You're just gonna have it, be able to get a ton of wear out of it, work it into just about any wardrobe, any fit. Work wear or not, to be honest with you, these are kind of, you know, crossing boundaries, but super nice cotton pair of pants. Some texture here in the fabric as I'm looking at it in the sun. I wouldn't say it's slubby, it's more neppy than anything. You definitely get some of the hits of like the natural fabric itself. So little tiny flecks of different texture and, you know, probably some of the different cottons and uh, fabrics that were used to make this, but. Nice, OG wide cotton pants. Got this in oatmeal and black. All right, corduroy loop shorts. Here I'm showing the hunter green. You know, sick. Has a sewn in pleat here, or rather two pleats, double pleat. You got this cute little uh, hook here to hang your keys, your keychain, um, any other little knickknacks, things you wanna have on your person. I would say the inseam is very much like neither short nor long, very approachable. Uh, I've noticed shorts this season are definitely running a little longer and, and have for maybe like the last couple years. But this is kind of like a happy middle ground for someone like me. I don't want my shorts to touch my knees all that much, but I'm, I'm down if they're close. Um, so this is not gonna be a long short by any means, but we got the fatigue pockets in the back and then a very subtle, you know, tonal hem here with kind of like a, like a chino hem, but yeah, these are nice. Um, yeah, I don't know, the details, are, the details are nice. The more you look at these garments, you're more surprised by uh, what the price of them is. So, something to consider. Hunter Green corduroy loop shorts. It's time to bring some corduroy into your life for summer. All right, moving on to the last couple products. These are the utility shorts. Let me check the name for sure. Nyko Utility Cargo Shorts in a light khaki. These are, uh, trying to find a way to say it without naming another brand, but you know, it's kind of on trend right now. We got pockets, you could put all kinds of stuff in here. You could put your fun dip packets in here. You could have your US passport in here. We are in Colorado, there's other things you could put in there. But, so let me highlight all the pockets. We got two back pockets with Velcro fixtures up top. We've got this neat little pocket here in the front a zip pocket on the side like a cargo, as well as another Velcro enclosed pocket on top of that. And then same situation on the right side, as well as the slash pockets right here on the waist. Super lightweight, uh, kind of similar to one of the button up shirts where I feel like you could probably even swim in these if you really found yourself itching to take a dip. But 
they're sick. They have the climbing belt, which again, just to touch on that, I think having like the belt hang down plays with proportions and adds interest in general. So uh, it's cool, it's cool. You know, kind of like a climbing short, climbing pant hybrid with cargos and a nice active material, but you can just pop this belt out. Yeah, and then a snap and a zipper, but definitely check these out. These are sick. Um, I think Boulder will respond well to these in particular. Last but not least, at, newly added to the list of offerings from Frism Works here at Canoe Club, the uh, curved hem pant. So right off the bat, got these cool pockets in the back with the buttons. Um, I really like how these look, kind of like makes the pant feel almost a little more formal. You know, almost like, uh, I wouldn't say suiting, but you know, a little more formal. And then we've got these double pleats up front as well. And then the pant is very clearly, you know, very roomy in the leg all the way down with a little bit of a taper that can then be adjusted. And I'd like to note they aren't snaps, they're buttons here on the bottom, which I definitely love. So you can, uh, you know, button the, button the hem, if you will, and it will sit on top of your sneakers and kind of pull. Similarly to if you had something like, you know, like a tie at the bottom of the pants to kind of like cinch that leg shut and play with the proportions. But you can also do sort of like a early 2000s showing up to the YMCA and one pants situation and leave them open like this to show off your shoes or your cool socks or whatever it might be. But fabric is incredibly lightweight. See if I can hold it up in the sun and kind of give it some play. But yeah, curved, pant, curved hem pant. Very roomy. Uh, I'm gonna I want to style these out. We have uh, we have Gannon coming in to shoot these on Monday, so when this comes out, we'll probably uh, Gannon will probably be here. But it's gonna be cool. Curb temp pant, awesome. All right, last product, last top rather. I know I had moved on to pants, but we got these beautiful two pack T-shirts. They come in white and black, white and gray, or black and gray. Um, I did try on the XLs. They fit me similarly to how uh, Kirkland tees, actually, Costco tees. They're in the same kind of sizing scale. Uh, fabric is a little heavier, feels a little sturdier, uh, just feels a little more considered. Um, not a knock to Kirkland, but these Frizzin ones are dope. Um, I got the white and gray ones because I actually don't have any gray tees, but they're sick. They're sold in a two pack. Um, it's gonna be easy to work in. These are awesome as undershirts in my opinion. They've got that little bit of extra length so they poke out, play with proportions. Would work well with just about everything in this collection. Looks cool under hoodies, jackets, uh, on its own as well. So never knocking that, but. Okay, so that is our summer delivery for Frism Works. Um, yeah, this is our third delivery, third kind of restock in general with them. I'm super excited about the brand. The rest of the staff is. Uh, yeah, so you know, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what the highlight pieces were. If you have suggestions, comments, uh, I'd love to hear them. Thank you for you know being present and communicating in our in our uh, communities. That being said, uh, if you're looking for a Discord invite, now would be the time. Um, so yeah, shoot, either shoot me a message here on YouTube, comment, hit us up on Instagram, whatever. I'll go ahead and get that invite out to you, and you can join the community. We've got over 300 members now, and we're all homies. So said that. And that's about it. Like, comment, subscribe. Would love to hear from you guys. Thank you for paying attention. Uh, shout out Frism Works. Talk to you soon.